everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Monster Train. We we got bodied last time. I think we, without making myself absolved of all guilt, I think we had very little chance. <laughs> With the path we chose, which was within my grasp, I think we had very little chance. But hey, let's see where we're at today. Random clan on Covenant rank 15. Um, I don't really care. I'd love to just, okay, we're doing the exact same uh, setup. Not necessarily bad. Um, Ember Cash is kind of interesting. Consume and add three excavated Ember cards to your discard pile. I mean, it's good, but it's slow. Which is not necessarily a terrible thing. Hallowed Drippings can be pretty solid. And as far as morsels go, I really do like making a morsel. Although apparently I've never won with it. Now this is very interesting. Friendly units gain Extinguish. Apply Armor 5 to the front friendly unit. Or Pyre Wall. Your, armor, your pyre starts with armor 15 each battle. I think this is like good and also great for uh, Hell Rush and dailies where you want high score so you don't want your pyre to take much damage. For actually just winning, let's try the uh, armor up at the front. I could be wrong, by the way. I still feel like, I mean, I want trample. But I still feel like if we don't have trample as an option, the gorge triggers work better earlier, but I might be mistaken. I don't know. I don't really know. You know, we're, we're figuring it out together. So usually... Uh, well, we have to think about it, quite frankly. I want to play our champion. I also want them not to die. Uh, so this, I think we got to put one of you in front. Does that make any sense at all? Like, I could give you more lifesteal, but I still need you to live next turn. <laughs> I don't know. Put a, put a train steward in front, and then on the bottom floor, we'll, we'll make it weird. We'll, uh, we'll give a train steward lifesteal, even though he's not really accomplishing all that much anyway. All right, now this is uh, this is nasty because we have no direct targeted damage in this deck yet. Um, so we want our minion to have, or sorry, our champion to have armor. So we're gonna get the gorge trigger, and I would also love to play a drag at the back. They'll do some damage, not right away because they're uh, dazed, but they'll do some damage. But also they'll apply some armor up at the front. Why not? Um, they'll apply some armor to the front unit when they die, which is worth something to me. It's not going that badly, because these units are enraged, so, like, by the time they make it to the top, they kind of stink anyway. Um, but you're, you're doing fine. Another drag is not gonna move the needle for us, so let's just have you gorge a little bit. And we, we accept that there's gonna be damage done here. I mean, without any, like, targeted direct damage, there's very little we can do. I do think we will apply the Burnout 3 regardless, though, and the reason there is, um, we'd rather have our units attack before they, uh, uh, before they expire and, and cause some armor to come in, right? So, I think we'd like it like this. You are gonna do 5 damage to my Pyre, and there's nothing I can do about that. Our Pyre's taking a beating, but this is what happens when you have no sweep and no, like, targeted, uh, no targeted damage, you know, no, no way for us to, like, hit units at the back. Um, even this is is not particularly strong, like, in any way. But the, the boss will not make it past. That just in, ensures it right there. And this does nothing. Um, I think this deck is, like, extremely uh, doo-doo right now. I think it is it is not great, but I think it has the, the power to get great. I'm just uh, playing this as if it mattered, but... It obviously doesn't really. We did make our champion quite strong and they had nice armor on them, so it's not all bad, but uh, certainly we got to make some improvements. This is kind of an easy one for me. I feel like Ant Umbra Assault is going to be your, your play. Um, we don't have any means to bring units back from the dead, so the draft is, is always tough, right? Like, you always. I think Molded is. I, I really feel like it should be a base card for the Melting, but the Melting are probably already so good that maybe it doesn't matter that much. I think we'd like a second Gorger more than anything else. I'll tell you, I think the Shadow Gorger is not that good. Uh, Shadow Eater. I, I think maybe 
if you can pair him with the Morsel Maker for sure. But we're going to go uh, Domo Origato on this one. Now, Holdover... You don't necessarily need a Molded every turn. Um, and I, I've learned that. We've had some great runs where we did have it. But we might be able to... Ah, but do we really want to make... I, I almost feel like we'll, we'll go a little weirder here and get a really cheap holdover Morsel Miner. And then we have a great Morsel that's coming back constantly, which I could be really, really happy with. We don't want to make this spell consume. Um, I'll tell you, I think less Shade Splitters benefits us the most right now. I think our Shade Splitters don't, don't really do much for us. Nor does the card that gives Burnout to our Burnout units. This should be fine. Even though we did manage to make it work last time. We want to make this robot freaking huge, dude. And we want him to be... We learned this on a run where we had a robot. Um, we want the robot to be in the mix. We want him to constantly be getting fuel and doing damage and, you know, yada yada. So I do think champion at the top is totally fine. Um, but I think robot at the bottom... He'll only take uh, three damage here. And then we want to give him fuel even more than giving our champion the ability here. And then, I don't mind putting a Dreg here. It's also an armor trigger next turn. The Dreg will die on spikes no matter what, so... Nothing to sweat on that one quite yet. This is not a good draw, for the record. Um, am I losing it? Why are you doing no damage? You have fuel one. Shouldn't, shouldn't this creature be dying? Do you not have fuel one? You gorged. Did I? Did you not gorge? You gorged, dude. Stop trying to tell me you didn't gorge when everybody knows you gorged. I don't know why you're being so weird about it. We like it. We're just trying to slow it down. For now. Now you have fuel one. Okay, so I, I don't know. Somehow I screwed it up. Wasn't paying enough attention. Um, Morsel Miner is always going to be great. You're going to run out of fuel on this turn. So I actually think we have you gorge so you're ready for the next turn. And then... Um, genuinely, I think we just have you gorge again. So you'll, you'll be good to go for two turns. It's uninspiring right now. But that's okay. You're taking 132 damage, which is pretty good. Hey, is there an Ant Umbra Assault in this deck? Or am I uh, am I losing my mind? Is that what's happening here? You're going to die in two hits. I, I think you focus on the bottom still. So you're only going to be able to attack twice. Then you're going to run out of fuel. Let's see how... Oh, that completely changes the game. All right. So the robot is still, still strong. Still in my good books. Um, but I, I certainly would not mind... Um, Figuring out whatever I did that screwed it up last time. I want a second Ant Umbra Assault. I want it faster, faster, faster. Um, I think this time we can deal with maybe a Molten Encasement. Our units are not particularly tanky, so making them making them stronger is worth something. Honestly, I, I wanted a... Uh, I wanted to make my units better. If you're not going to give me that option, then so be it. We really struggle to kill support units, so I think jack strips to do damage to them is going to be useful. And I do like Lady of the Reformed. I do like her. But do we... The thing is, we don't really care about our burnout units, but I still... I can't believe we've never won with her. Let's put it that way. I think bottom floor, Robot City. Top floor, Champion. Middle floor, you could get some burnout. Go oh my god, okay. So, not everybody feels the same way about Dante. He does kind of screw you early on, and we are a little bit low on pyre health. But I really, truly think that uh, getting Dante, powering him up, and then, you know, just playing him is enough to get you the win. Most of the time. Much of the time. Alright, so. We know we like you here. I don't mind our Pyre taking three damage to get so, to get started here. Constructed explosives enter with damage shield. So we would be not killed, but pretty close. But then we would get back to full HP right after. But we don't really like... I mean, I'll just tell you... I don't, eh, but with, without drawing the robot on the first turn, 
I think this is this is an acceptable move. And we can put the robot at the top. We'll just have to be careful about the way that we, we handle fuel. I really want to slow this whole floor down before it gets uh, out of control. So I think for sure, we like robot at the top. You're going to get two extra burnout. You're doing okay. I'm not sweating you. You guys are going to die in, in the transition here. I honestly think you just have the train steward die. And why not make you a little... I, th I think you just top, pop both of those on there. So you are... I can't stop you from making it to the top. Which is always uh, annoying. But I can put some blockers up for you. I, I can live with this. Um, and I think... In terms of gorging... You're taking 10... I think we'd still like it if you gorged. Let's make sure... Yeah, but this is the kind of floor we want to create here. We do want... And, you know, we shouldn't be using our drafts... Or dregs, I should say. Outside of this too often. I've made that mistake a couple of times already. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Finally. Finally, we got our Ant Umbra Assault. Which we drew, I don't know, 10 years ago. Very nice. Can't get you, unfortunately. So you know what? I, th I think this is great. I think you should apply the stealth here. And we, we got a great thing going. This does only do three damage, so it's not worth all that much. We'll keep you going on fuel. Um, and you know what? What are you? Lifesteal? Your damage shield? This is a bit spicy. But I think it actually turned out very nice right there. Um... And we can put another drag down here. All of a sudden, we got the structure I'm looking for. We got enough fuel on the robot that it's going to start doing some damage. Everything's looking a little bit smoother. Everything's looking a little bit smoother. Um, and you're still doing fine down here. I definitely... I don't know. I feel like... Lifesteal is always going to benefit you. Um in this situation, and I feel like your dregs are doing incredible work down here. I feel like you put a drag back here, at least, uh, we didn't need that to get the kill, but it is what it is. And all of a sudden, I, I think we peak later than I would like, but we're very sustainable right now. We got a few floors that are pretty strong. The middle floor is, is really the, it's the odd floor out right now. You are taking one, two, three. You've got three fuel, so I'm just thinking about how I want to roll this. Um, we definitely want you to have fuel, um, but do we want you to have more fuel? Or do we want to make our champion stronger? We're at 36, which is 9 times 4. So even getting a single eat it added 70 damage, which is just ridiculous. I actually think we want no train stewards at the top so we can get more fuel on our robot instead. So this floor is kind of like, you just, you get what you can get on this one. I don't, I don't expect big things. Um, I will make a morsel up here. This robot's going to be, uh, he's going to be hard to deal with. Put a trash morsel up there. Blow him up. Get two much better morsels. And uh, you're kind of tapped out, so let's just let this one go. Alright, we're learning, we're learning. It's a little bit of a slow start now, and that, there is no chance. You had no chance on this one. Um, and this is going to make it even harder for you. All right, but we got to find a way. Not that you have to do this for the record, but I love seeing our unit actually getting stronger instead of getting weaker. It just makes you read. You think that you like beat the boss so badly, they never even stood a chance. Okay, Devourer of Death. Harvest. Gain one soul. Extinguish. Deal damage to the enemy unit equal to 15 times the soul count. So the longer this thing lives, the more AoE damage it does. It's interesting, and I hate it. Um, I think I'm <laughs> I'm a bounty stalker guy, honestly. Um, he does go nicely on the second floor. 
We already have two kind of gorge friendly units, but a crucible collector that gets tanky is very good and relentless. I am looking at paraffin thug as well, but I'm like, where do you put a paraffin thug? I guess you put him maybe up at the top, um, so he can, you know, knock out some weak units, but our robot's kind of handling it okay, as is. I don't know. Let, I, I'm going to try something funky. And I think we do want capacity. What does the paraffin thug cost? It's just one, right? Yeah. Um, so I think we do want capacity. But I'm thinking to myself, what if we make the paraffin thug like... Um, what if we can get him to be multi-strike? Then the how does the world change us, you know? Or how do we change? What am I talking about? I don't know. Uh, we, we're going to talk about that in just a second. Let's see what we got for Umbra. Morsel Master, um, I think you could summon this on the robot floor. Morsel Maker would be a little bit stronger, but I think Morsel Master, we do tend to get enough morsels. Uh, and I, I think that I'd still like to remove Shade Splitters, but we're a little bit more Gorge driven now. Um, and we got a 30 card deck, man, that is, that's not great. I'm gonna go for the Mixed Capacity and Gorge trigger. Large stone I really like. I mean, you already have multi-strike, so this this is a nice helper, don't get me wrong. And that's how we're gonna do it. I, I do wanna add... And I think I'm gonna go for this reroll right off the bat. I do wanna add... as much damage as possible to... Uh, Paraffin Thug, just to enable it to get those Slay Triggers, it'll pay for itself pretty soon. And then, I'm looking at Burnout 1, honestly, and I'm like, you know what? What if we just give this guy Burnout 1? We'd actually not mind if he just, uh... If he ate it one turn faster so we could mold him back and... We got 62 Pyre health. I think we have enough robot killing power to kill these guys even if they have 15 armor. I don't think raw damage is a horrible concern for us right now. So you're doing... You're getting stronger over time, which we hate, but... We do like this. You do 15 damage. So I think we'd like that. And then just to get you to gorge a little. And then you're gonna take 2 damage on your way up. You're not quite dead, but you took something. We still have no means with which to <laughs> to kill you. Um, this time we got to put you up here for sure, and you're you're doing you're doing fine. I'm not sweating that. We need our robot to be able to attack. The end, um, and we will take three pyre damage. These Dante candles are, are going to be a problem with not that much energy. I still do stand by capacity, but we we may come to regret that decision at some point. You're taking forty, and you have forty six. So I think this is a no-brainer. You're going to live to do 8 damage to our Pyre, which is not that bad. I uh, think you definitely just mold this Bounty Stalker back, though. And already, like, you're starting to see the value of this already, probably. And then you might you might look at this as a little funky because we do have a nice draft synergy. I actually think getting the two uh, we can always we have way more drafts. Let's put it that way. Um, but we can always just uh, put another draft there. I think more fuel on our robot is going to save our pyre from being killed. I do not regret taking the, the trial yet, but that, that could change. <laughs> it also puts some extra armor on this guy, which is nice so we can get more damage output. So you're doing great, um, and you're already getting two kills. Now the question is where do we put you? I think you do fine right here. You are going to get a kill. That's 20 gold, which in and of itself is awesome. Um, and I think now we go like Morsel Master. Making a morsel. Now we get two morsel makers. Or sorry, let me rephrase. Two morsel miners per floor is pretty sick stuff. Uh, and we're just going to summon our drafts just to take some hits. They're dregs. My mistake. Thank you for the gold, though. That's worth a lot. I was going to say, we're on brief respite. Um, 
This is always played. You guys are dying, so I'm not sweating it. 35, 10. You're not getting a kill. Is there any way we can change that? I don't believe so. Um, you're going to get played. I, I still think given our uh, robot double morsel miner is insanely good. I think you putting stealth on our units is pretty nice. And then really you're just going to be here. Alright, how we looking here? We're doing no damage, which is a pretty bad sign. Um, you're burning out. But you're gonna die anyway. Are we are we guaranteed to draw molded? Not at all. Um, but I think we let you die rather than give you burnout. Make you stronger. Because you're gonna die in one hit regardless. You guys are both going. Do we accept that this floor is uh, cursed? Because how does this work? You're burning out. You're getting hit for 10 on the first hit and giving us stealth. We're hitting you for 20. Oh, so this, you hit twice and you hit once. I think at least putting a train, and you want them behind the stealth units. A train steward now moves things slightly. And then we can put one of these in here, which is just for energy on the next turn. We, we could have had it absorb a hit, actually, which would have been nicer. Um, and then anytime you get the double morsel miner, I think you're, you're over the moon, right? I think we'd rather you burned out, and then let's let's send it. We are looking for molded here. Molded would be worth something. We didn't get it, and it's okay. It's it's not that bad. You're you're doing 110 damage. I you know, call me crazy on this one. I still think we're totally fine. Let's make that 146. Let's make it 107. <laughs> Oh, let's make it 244. Okay, now we're talking. You will not live to defeat the robot. It's not doable. It can't be done. I'm not afraid. Uh, get this out of here. I'm telling you, dude, this making a morsel is... It's not even what it's called. It's making of a morsel, but... You know, my heart's in the right place. This robot is getting flipping huge. He's, he's doing amazing stuff. We got a lot of gold there. Um... I really don't see the value of feast most of the time. If you have too many morsels, you can feast to play the morsels in hand that otherwise wouldn't make it. Um, I don't really think we have a... I, I, really, let me rephrase. I don't think we have any need for any of these. The end. Um, I still also don't think we really have enough units dying to justify a fatal melting. But I do think a wicked blaze to get a second trigger to bring back our... Uh, our bounty hunter is really good. So I will take Dante the Deceptive. I think the way that this works out right now, we have to have Dante behind our champion on the bottom floor. We really just want him to get as stacked as possible as early as possible. And him getting another multi-strike, to me, is worth more than, um, than like, Paraffin Thug getting it. Although, admittedly, he's not doing very much damage right now. You might be able to get away with that multi-strike on the robot. Dante already has a really, really nice multi-strike. He's kind of untanky, though. You know, I, I think we like him like this. An 18-20 with four or more multi-strike. And then another multi-strike on our robot. Like, the robot, I think, is more important. And I'm very surprised that I'm saying that. But I used to hate that card. And now I think the best thing we can do is big removal. Uh, shade splitters are going to be amongst the next to go. Where are we at here? Give me a, a random... I mean, the Umbra seems to synergize. But give me a random Hellhorn. I hope... I think that's fine. I, especially because we have multi-strike. I did want armor, but I think that this fits the deck pretty okay. I think we're, we're kind of cruising. It's not over... Um, but I, I think we've... I'm looking at this and I'm like, we barely use Spell Shield at all. <laughs> or we barely use spells at all. We use Ant Umbra Assault, but half the time it targets our own units. So um, I think that this one, we're getting away with it. We don't even have to play anything on the bottom. We could just let these guys burn themselves out. But I do think we want to establish a presence on the bottom regardless. So um, I don't really care where we put you. Might as well do it like this. You guys are going to die before you move, but you might be able to survive if we can get a 
No, actually, I think you're probably gonna die, um, but I, I don't mind. And I can't kill you, which I should really start to think about. Um, but anyway. So, the lady goes here, alright? That's that's a it's a simple calculus. Um, I think you save Rage 3. I can't believe you lived, by the way. I'm trying to think of where you... Maybe you put the paraffin thug on the bottom here. I mean, he seems like he's doing okay. If there's weak enemies every single time, my man is going to pretty easily be able to stack up the kills. So there's some non-negotiable stuff here. Um, the robot has to get played. And then I really think... You just... And it, don't get me wrong. I mean, come on, man. It's Dante. Dude, we're talking about Dante here. But I think it's almost more advantageous to just get that out there. I think it's very clear to us as well... That we need to see on the next turn um, some energy. Or on the next boss fight, I should say. After beating the boss, we need some energy. So this is a, kind of a gimme. That's big. And I, the, the scaling is getting nuts there, so I'm, I'm in love with it. Uh, I could toast you for two morsels. I kind of like it, actually. You're tapped on morsels, but you're not. And you do have Gorge scaling, so it's worth something. And then we got a Dreg that we can place right there anyway. I don't think anything's getting past our robot now. I wouldn't mind Pyre healing a little bit before the boss, though. <laughs> I think that that would be... Uh, that could be useful. So, let's bring back this guy. Who is not particularly uh, strong right now. Or uh, tanky, but he, he's kind of... he's hanging. You've got two fuel. Honestly, get this out of here. He's, he doesn't have to attack for quite some time. So you have eight turns of stealth, which is the real kick in the teeth here. Um, if we could honestly just put a couple of dregs up at the front, because you don't sweep. If we could just burn off as many turns of stealth as possible. I'd be, uh, I'd be very happy. But I'm pretty sure... This didn't help at all, maybe? I don't know. I will say we made, like, 90 gold off of the Paraffin Thug, which is awesome. You do 15 damage? How are we only doing 28? Because you still have two turns of stealth. Are you kidding me, man? You still had two turns of stealth? Alright, here's what I like. Two can play that game. There we go. Now we got 95 damage coming your way. Um, let's give this robot a little extra HP. Play this. Uh, I would love to just get this out here, but there's no space for it. That's all right. All right. Now you got to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the robot. Best of luck to you. Oh, wait, you're already dead. By the way, we got Dante out there throwing in an extra 90 damage. By the way, we're drawing all these bad cards we don't care about. We, we really don't want Dante on the top floor. Dante is going to be on the bottom floor with the champion where there's tons of capacity. But, you know, that's just the way it worked this time. That is a tempting way to do things. Is uh, use Prism Retrieval and hope to draw your robot or Dante. But I, I don't respect it right now. I actually feel like Sacred Wicks works pretty well for us. Because uh, we, we're really struggling to bring units back from the dead. We only have a couple we want to bring back, but still. I, I really want Pyre health. I think that this path is also... I mean, you get a free relic, right? But... I think we'd rather have one extra capacity on each floor. Harder to mess with things. I don't want the plus three capacity on a floor where our champion is already making the capacity super high. Remove consume, but become more expensive. I, I kind of like this because we have such an ember or such an energy problem that I think this is okay. But I might be a, a fool. I might be a fool. I don't think those are worth it. Um, is there anything a little too expensive? Sure. 
Well, let's let's do it. Eh, we don't use this as often. Let's do it this way. And then we do have 150 to remove another card. Definitely still think our shade splitters are not that good. Normally we're doing okay on morsels. Alright, it's the boss fight. This is the first time in like three fights I think things could go wrong. But I we haven't been tested in a while, and in a way that's why I'm a little bit scared. So this is pretty much what we wanted, but we do need to ensure that uh, our our champion lives. So it looks something like this. The champion is definitely dying, but then like this, champion is super living. Dante is coming down. Champion is not living, by the way. Yeah, it doesn't have 24 HP. Um, but I was going to do this anyway, for the record. We're going to summon both morsels. Well, actually, yeah, we only needed to summon one morsel, so we can actually get you to have a gorge trigger and get much stronger. And then you come up here, and that's a, that's a very good first turn. Okay, we got to think about like what's, what's optional and what's non-optional. I would say non-optional is getting your robot ready to go. Although, admittedly, we have no fuel for it, which is a bit of a kick in the teeth. Um, after that, I would say... Oh, you're dying, dude. Can you not instead? Not really. Um, like, even a dreg doesn't save us, I think. It, the dreg totally saves us. Shows what I know. Um, let's get a Bounty Stalker out there to kill this statue. And then we can apply this. I do like the Paraffin Thug being out there. But he's more of like a... He's more of a play for gold. And we don't really need that right now. So there's very little we can do on this floor. You're going to make it and hit our Pyre twice. Which is going to be a... It's going to be pretty nasty. You're a sweeping unit. Which is something we got to... Whenever possible, keep an eye out for. Um, now, finally, you're going to have some fuel and also some damage shield, which is real sick. Um, personally, I think we're better off just getting double dregs out here. Alright. Now, this should get a little bit better. So, the damage shield is very nice. Um... You're dying, which still sucks really bad. Um, I think, if you'll hear me out here, we got space for a lot of stuff. So I think we like you getting a damage shield to stay alive in the future. Not now, but in the future seems pretty good. Now you're living, and actually healing. I think I put a second one up there. Now you're not healing as much, so it shows what I know. Now you come down here, because you're a little bit stronger already. You're going to come here so we can get super fuel, and I think we now have hit the critical mass we were looking for. The sweeping unit is kind of a kick in the teeth, but apart from that, we're okay. We like this unit dying. I think we like this. And then, who would have thought plus one capacity each floor actually makes an enormous difference for that top floor gorge. Ant Umbra? No Ant Umbra. Alright, this is big though. Okay, so you're dying again. We gotta figure out a way to keep you alive. Uh, Bounty Stalker doesn't do it, but man oh man, it's a good one to bring back. But we would like something that could, like, take a hit. Bounty Stalker doesn't take a hit, unfortunately. This might be overkill. I don't... I don't know. That I, I'm gonna go ahead and call that. I think that's a pretty big misplay on my part. I apologize, but it is what it is. And I think we really just benefit from giving you insane amounts of fuel. And then Dante getting the rage seems sensible. I don't think the rage is that useful, but it, it's something. We're getting real close here. Okay, Paraffin Thug. Well, we like, we love this. It's better than a like. Um, Paraffin Thug. 
you might as well put it on the first floor. We we do a lot less uh, morsel making down here. We're really making a lot on this floor. Like, what's this guy? He's at seven fuel. That's probably enough to carry us now. I, I have very few concerns for the present moment. Um, but the, the thing is, it also does have to survive. You're taking 160, which is not great. Uh, I mean, you do have... You got a good amount of HP. You, you're going to survive for a bit, for sure. So this comes out here. I think we just love two morsel miners on you. Every single one of these is letting you survive one and almost two more hits from the boss, which is absurd. Now, would I rather give you stealth, or would I rather bring this guy back? I think that this gives us an extra 180 damage minimum. Yeah, it gave us 200. It's really all about the top floor. This is far from a perfect run. But it is what it is right now. And I think you kind of... Oh, well, I mean, we could bring the champion back, but I don't think that's your play. I think you bring back the Bounty Stalker, and right off the bat, my man's adding an extra 125 damage into this. I'm doing 20. I got an idea. So that takes us to 230. But, ladies and gentlemen, that takes us to 230. And then, two lifesteal on our robot. Which is an easy kill. Alright. So we made it happen. And I'm not too worried about this. If anything, things should get a little easier for the next fight. Um, so 8 extra damage by default. I still don't think it's necessarily worth it. We do gorge enough that maybe our unit's dying. I mean, Umbra melting would really be one of those times where you'd be like... I mean, 10 times the number of friendly units that have died. Adds up pretty quickly. Sure, I, I think I can take that, actually. I think I, I was wrong to avoid the... Because I wasn't thinking about the Gorge triggers hitting that, but obviously Gorged units will hit that. Um, I certainly want removal. The fact that it comes with a free relic is also pretty sweet for me. I think we're too late to care about units getting an extra upgrade slot. If it was earlier, I'd be all in on it, but um, I think we're a little bit too late. It's a very, it's a thicker deck than I'd like. Now, is there a card that we want every turn uh, at this point? I mean, do we want two making of a morsels? No, I think we don't draw enough to make it worthwhile. It's very rare, by the way, but I'm not really a big fan of holdover in this situation. Believe it or not. Um, so I think we'll just stall because we don't really get anything out of uh, the reroll. We probably benefit from the super gorge instead of even more capacity. Our bottom floor doesn't seem to have capacity problems right now. We will absolutely not turn this one on. <laughs> no ember drain would would also be beautiful. All right, so let's let's start intelligently. We uh, very much like that. Then you got to think about how you want to set this one up. You, you know you like a Morsel ma ma uh, whatever you're called, Morsel Master at the top. I, you don't really benefit from gorging, though, so even though you would create multiple gorge options, I don't think it's relevant in the least. But I'm happy to have you out there to kill uh, to kill one of these if it happens. I think we're going to miss the robot, or not the robot, but the collector on every single one this time. So we do have you coming up here. I'm going to be honest, uh, this unit is making it to our pyre. We do take a little bit to get going. This is really not helping. <laughs> um, I still think you believe. Believe in yourself and play Dante at the bottom here. And then give Dante a little bonus. And then... You're not taking any damage except from you. 20 damage, 18 damage. Yikes, brother. I'm still gonna hit you with it. We need we need some gorges happening. Toot sweet. And we're not getting them, dude. We're not getting them at all. Which is really just letting these guys run wild on our pyre. Um, hopefully this starts to put a little bit of a stop to it.
Our champion has lived. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, this is... We lose. Essentially. Well, you know what? We're not going to lose. But it got mighty close, and it's still not over. We need you to have fuel. More than anything else. I'm also going to keep our champion alive. But... It's not a guarantee. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you, I'm very glad that I got the uh, the additional pyre health earlier. I, I no longer feel like an idiot for that one. Why don't you go ahead and uh, die to give all these units stealth? And we I was just going to say, we definitely want this bounty stalker back. Might as well put him in here to live for another turn. And you need as much fuel as possible. I don't see an enemy getting past our robot still. But it's not ideal. So this floor... We are doing 400 on this floor. Which just by itself is pretty good. And being able to get morsel miners every single... Actually, four morsel miners at the top every single floor is only going to help. So let's give... I mean, honestly, if you're already taking 409, I feel like you doing some extra stealthiness, yeah, it raised uh, the damage we did by 5, which is uh, horrible. Um, but we know, at this point, we know it's all about the robot regardless. Maybe Burnout doesn't count for Extinguish? It doesn't really seem like it makes sense, but... Maybe. <laughs> I doubt it, but maybe. Um, we need you to get hit so you don't cause these guys to burn out. Oh, didn't really change anything. Burnouts are going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Or maybe Extinguish only happens on Burnout. Shows what I know. So you're only taking 670, which is obviously not good enough. But we can, I mean, this does enough to change it. But even more so, I, I just want to test something. Not quite, huh? Doesn't fit. All right. Fair enough. On the other hand... Why am I messing with this? Just... It, bring back something that costs one. Put it in front. It does, doesn't matter. Finish the job. You did it. It was close, but we made it. Very glad we didn't turn the trial on. I don't even know what boss it is. <laughs> is it buff debuff? That That's not bad. We don't rely on buffs. Yeah, I think it's buff debuff. Even if it's sap, it's not that big of a deal. So I think it's kind of obvious, unfortunately, that we're going to need a little pyre health no matter what. Now with 205 gold... I have to say... When you play a unit, a random card in your hand is reduced to zero. Seems like everything we want and more. And it's not like we're going to go to the spell shop. Okay, so it is sap. So that's pretty bad for Dante. But the robot is going to outscale it. So you, you got to maybe think about how we're setting this up this time. You're doing enough damage to kill our pyre. Or, sorry, to kill our champion. Or Dante, for that matter. Um, so I think, if you'll hear me out here, I think we like this. In which case, we do need to do that. And uh, thank you. I don't really want the 30 gold, but it does stop this guy. 11... Okay, so we got we got a new strat. Check check this one out. We're gonna kill Dante. Why? Why would we ever do this? Um, well, we can't keep him alive. Is the important thing. But by killing him, and this is Galaxy Brain, so this could be a very very just not smart move. <laughs> but by killing him. 
we do possess the ability to bring him back and bring him back stronger and stronger and maybe play him on the middle floor this time. But thing, well, this is getting out of hand. I know that now there are two of them, but no, this is like really getting out of hand. So you gotta go. Uh, and you need morsels so you can actually do something next turn. Otherwise, we're probably dead immediately. Um, I actually feel like we put you up here so that you can also help kill this guy and maybe get to the guy behind as well. You need a morsel miner. And then we'll look at this, okay? I think even if I summon two of these, you die. Let's walk it through. Hit, die. Hit, die. Hit. We'll be at 20. And then we take 24. So do you summon a Lady of the Reformed on the bottom? To try to let your champion live slightly longer? And then what the heck do you put in the middle? <laughs> Sure, you know, we're, we're gonna get a little funky with this one. You're not making it, huh? Hit, die. You'll, you'll live on this. Not with much, but... I think we gotta slow our rate of descent, because this is getting bad. But if we played our game, we would already be dead. So there's some real badness here. I, I, I still don't understand. How do you... Oh, the bounty hunter took the fuel! And it's completely my fault. But still, that's upsetting. <laughs> so, I think realistically, this floor is going to kill us. Um, and there's very little we can do about it. Except hope that it doesn't, but it's gonna. It's gonna. I apologize. It was, I mean, this one was kind of cursed from the final boss fight onwards, but we did play it wrong as well. We did get our Umbra leveled up. It was at least better than our last attempt with the Umbra. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But if you watched all 47 minutes and 6 seconds, please do click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya!